I mean, this channel is about art, but come on, sometimes? And let's be fair, movies, the whole, the whole Star Wars franchise itself, this art, artful masterpiece of a series, I think it fits in our purview. Besides, it's Star Wars. This is important to everybody. Everybody. So let's talk about it real quick. Never. Hey team, what's going on? Did you all see this? Mm. I gotta say, it does make me sad for what could have been. If y'all know of anything about George Lucas and before with the prequels with the, the Phantom Menace and Jar Jar Binks. This is embarrassing. Jar Jar was originally supposed to be a Darth, uh, a, a Sith Lord, Darth Jar Jar. But people hated, loathed, despised Jar Jar so much that he uh, he, he went in a different direction and made uh, Count Dooku and all the, the way it is now. But it wasn't supposed to be like that. Well, guess what else wasn't supposed to be like that? Episodes 7, 8, and 9, The Force Awakens, and of course, The Last Jedi. I mean, all of us fans who, uh, who didn't like it, now have a lot of reason not to like it. Part of it being that 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 well disappointment that we felt over the vi over over the the movies, especially the Last Jedi, was felt by the Godfather himself, good old GL George Lucas. Let's read what it says. This is, uh, this is from Vulture magazine, and it talks about how George Lucas felt betrayed by Disney's changes to the new. Star Wars trilogy. So here's the deal, guys. Bob Iger came in and, and uh, talked with George Lucas, and George Lucas was like, hey, guess what? I got three ideas, big ideas, developed ideas with plot points and even uh, even characters. In fact, uh, there was this new character named Kira, who was a female Jedi Padawan who trains with the grumpy exiled Luke Skywalker. Well, Bob Iger's like, hey, those are great. Can we buy him from you? And George is like, it's going to cost you. And Bob's like, okay, I understand. Guess what? Also, no creative control for you, but you gave us you gave us some great stuff to work with here, George. Some real great stuff. And we bought this stuff from you for a lot of money. These stories. So George was like, okay, cool. And in his mind, he was thinking, they're going to take my stories that I have for my series that they bought from me so they could tell my story. Well, that's not how it went down. Apparently, J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm's president, if you didn't know, and Iger blindsided Lucas with the new plot. It says here, now in the first meeting with him, George Lucas, about the future of Star Wars, George felt betrayed. And while this whole process would never have been easy for him, we'd gotten off to an unnecessarily rocky start. He actually, took, he took his baby and said, what you thought and where you were going with it? Guess what? No longer expectations successfully subvoided. <sighs> Man. And you know, I mean, the deal is, is that, well, not New Hope, and probably not even Empire. Maybe with uh, Return of the Jedi, Lucas started having this big idea about where Star Wars was going, where it came from, and uh, what was going to happen in the future. And, you know, he always, he always talks about how he couldn't do the one, two, three because it wasn't technologically uh, able to at the time. Maybe for, maybe for the prequels, maybe for the uh, after A New Hope. It wasn't even called, you know, Star Wars wasn't even called A New Hope at first. It was just Star Wars. And then after the, it became a trilogy, it then became A New Hope. Anyway, neither here nor there. The deal is, is George had these ideas for episode 789 that were predicated on the events that took place in episodes 1, 2, and 3. So so when uh, The Force Awakens was being pitched to him, he's like, wait a minute, guys, this isn't where I'm going. Iger says that he was upset and disappointed. And, but you know what? Nowhere in the contract did it, have, did it say that Iger had to follow the scripts. All it said is that we get to buy them from you. So they bought them and then didn't use them. And can you imagine? He was disappointed. Yeah. We all were. Now, you know, there are some people who are true Star Wars fans who don't just hate The Last Jedi, and I guess whatever. But, you know, the the thing is, with, with The Force Awakens, is I liked it, I did, but it was predicated on a lot of ideas that were going to be flushed out in the other movies. I, I, you know, I liked it as the idea of the first in a, in a trilogy. I do not like 
The Force Awakens as a standalone movie, especially when you have uh, The Last Jedi that kind of kills some of the, the big plot point was who is Snoke? Oh my goodness, what's his deal? Of course, who's Rey? Who are her parents? This is crazy. And then all those turn out to be not important. So, I mean, all the big things that we thought were big mysteries, expectations successfully subvoided. Uh, we're kind of let down, so the whole idea of, of The Force Awakens being this, this first step in the trilogy kind of got smashed by The Last Jedi. Congratulations, expectations successfully not paid attention to. <laughs> disappointed, yeah. We were all upset. We were all disappointed. Anyway, I, it goes on to say there's no formal agreement with Dis that Disney would use Lucas' stories, as we talked about earlier. But Iger felt bad for surprising him with the news. I would be too like, hey... Remember all that stuff you told us and all that time we, we wasted when you told us about what you wanted to go with the series? We're not going to use any of it. Not even a little bit. Mm. <gasps> You're upset? What? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, typical. The whole thing is perfect fodder for both sequel trilogy haters, which I don't hate them, and prequel trilogy stands. I don't know what the hell that means. What a great question of the day. If it didn't, if so, if a Star Wars line, if a Star Wars storyline didn't get Lucas's blessing, is it really canon? Is it really? As a, as the vulture uh, as the vulture announces, let the debates begin. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Expectations successfully. Expectations success. Why can't I remember that? Yeah. Expectations of sexually subweighted. There.